Uh, we're at the 2014 World Stem Cell Summit, uh, which is the 10th annual uh, summit. So our mission here at the Regenerative Medicine Foundation is to provide the tools to society to advance this and accelerate this. If this is the future of medicine, we have to get to that future quicker because lives are at stake. We're, we're thrilled to bring the World Stem Cell Summit to San Antonio because it represents uh, the best the globe has to offer uh, throughout the whole spectrum of this exciting portion of uh, science called regenerative medicine. Um, investors, academics, uh, people from industry, uh, and especially the advocacy groups who come and remind us why we're really here, not just to make money and to come up with products, but to find ways to alleviate human suffering. And then on the personal front, in my family we've been uh, impacted by spinal cord injury, by Parkinson's disease, by cancer, and by diabetes. And so the chance to work on a technology in an area of technology that can impact diseases like those, which have, you know, thus far ha we haven't been able to as a society, um, is hugely personally important. And I am a wife and a mother of three children. My husband was diagnosed in 2007 with Huntington's disease, and we have three children now at risk of Huntington's disease. It's the patients, it's the researchers, we all have something in common that we're really fighting and working hard to find those cures and therapies. You have to have the faith because if you don't believe that it's going to work, you shouldn't be in this business. So we are at that very cusp where regenerative medicine is not just a science fiction. We have dropped the fiction part and the science is increasingly becoming practice of the future. What we're seeing at the moment is just the tip of the iceberg and that within a couple of years, certainly within 10 years, we're going to be seeing an almost unrecognizably huger uh, contribution of regenerative medicine to medicine in general than what we're seeing today. Every family has diseases in it. Mine's no exception. My father had uh, senile dementia. Uh, my mother had cancer. Uh, my mom actually died of a uh, stroke, hemorrhagic stroke. I think that, that Stem cells strike me as the ultimate way of getting at preventative medicine, which is one of our weaknesses really, but it's, it's going to be a strength through the stem cells and, and genome editing. To have the opportunity to use stem cell, which is my specialty, and, and to grow the cells in space and use it to cure a disease that took my mother away, I think is, uh, is, is a dream come true for me. Uh, we are thankful for GPI for bringing this amazing <laughs> event together, the World Stem Cell Summit, to bring the best in the world, science and industry and, and patient advocacy, which we greatly appreciate being patient advocates to be able to be a part of it. If we move together in the same way that Kennedy inspired man to go to the moon, it's that kind of energy that's needed and that kind of unification of the stakeholder communities moving in a concerted fashion to one common purpose, one common result, which is alleviating human suffering and chronic disease. We believe that we've been able to provide a window to the world for the field of stem cells and regenerative medicine. And now as the Regenerative Medicine Foundation, it's a higher launching pad. We're just getting started with our work and what needs to be done. We are going to find a cure, so I'm not worried about that. In other words, we're trying to turn on the light, and the only way we're gonna do this is by working together.